Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, just got back from the uh, Tea Party Rally down here in South Haven, Mississippi. So I uh, got in touch with the organizers. They let me have five minutes, and I was first up. So, uh, you know, well, I tell you what. Y'all just take a gander at it and make your own decision. And he said he would be glad to come and say a few words. I think you're going to enjoy this young man. His name is Chris Evans, and he is Daddy. involved with veterans. First, I want to thank the event organizers for uh, allowing me the privilege of being here in such a, a great group of uh, red-blooded American patriots. You know, so we want to thank y'all for that. All right, my name is Chris Evans, and I am an Oath Keeper. Before I explain what an Oath Keeper is, how many current serving and former members of the police departments do we have here? Put your hands up and sound off. Anybody? All right, how about current and former military personnel? How about you put your hands up and sound off? Hoorah! Hoorah. All right, here we go. All right, keep your hands up, keep your hands up for me for a second. Daddy! If your oath has ever expired, put your hand down. Nobody should have put their hand down because that oath never expires. First off, I want to thank you for your service. And I think, uh, I really want to give you guys a hand. Come on, let's give these guys a hand. Support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, so help us God. Amen. Amen. Therefore, we as Oath Keepers has issued a declaration of ten orders that we will not obey. And as I read through these orders, I want each and every one of you to sound off if you agree with each one of these declarations. We will not obey orders to disarm the American people. Amen. We will not obey orders to conduct warrantless searches of the American people. obey orders to detain American citizens as unlawful enemy combatants or subject them to military tribunal. We will not obey orders to impose martial law or a state of emergency on a state without the express invitation and consent from that state's legislature. We will not obey orders to invade and subjugate any state that asserts its sovereignty. American cities, thus turning them into giant concentration camps. We will not obey any order to force American citizens into any form of detention camps under any pretext. We will not obey orders to assist or support the use of foreign troops on U.S. soil against the American people to keep the peace and maintain control. Hear, hear. confiscate the property of the American people, including food and other essential supplies. We will not obey any order which infringes on the right of the people to free speech, to peaceably assemble, to petition their government for progressive freedom. By following any of these ten orders, we have become the very domestic enemy of the Constitution we swore to defend it against. So help us God. I just want to say, my brother and sister oath takers out there, it is our duty in essence not to obey those ten orders. There's been some concern of Washington politics and state house politics as of late. But the burden of enforcement falls upon military and law enforcement personnel. My brother and sister oath takers, I know the fortitude it takes to look our superiors in the eyes and tell them this order violates our oath of service. It is illegal and therefore I will not comply. We are here to tell you that you are not alone. Citizens, how many of you will stand up and support our oath takers when they become oath keepers? Everywhere 
we go, whenever we make an address, that uh, we do an oath ceremony. So all of you guys and gals that have officially swore this oath, I ask that you'll stand with me now and reaffirm it. And if you have not taken the oath in official capacity and you would just like to show your support and become an honorary oath keeper, please stand, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. Now I'm going to state my name, you substitute yours. <laughs> I, Chris Evans. I, I Tommy Evans. Evans. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly uh, swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution. That I will support and defend the Constitution. Of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Pledging my life, my fortune, and my sacred honor. Pledging my life, my fortune, and my sacred honor. So help me God. So help me God. Hurrah! Hurrah!